I told you guys I would have big, big ideas to share with you for things that Night Drive could add into the game, and I wasn't lying. Today, we have big ideas that Night Drive could add into the game. Except it's only one idea, but just go with it. Anyways, let's go, let's go right into the video. Also, be sure to watch the entire video, uh, because I talk about stuff in this video, the entire video. There's a reason that the video is kind of long, and so there, you should probably listen to it. Uh, because even though I'm going to talk about some stuff in the middle of the video, in the beginning of the video, uh, there's also going to be stuff in the end of the video, and like, there's a lot of stuff. My point is, sometimes a lot of people only watch like the first couple minutes of each video, and then they go do whatever. Uh, but if you actually are interested in the idea, and, and what I want to talk about today, uh, then watch the entire video, because it's all going to be interesting. So, let's just get right into it. Alright, a lot of people like the Nitro-type friends race. They're like, cool system, you get to race your friends, whatever. Love it. However, I don't like the Nitro-type friends race. No, no offense, Nitro-type. And the reason that I don't like the Nitro-type friends race is not because it's bad, but simply because it could be so, so much better. There are so many different ways that we could do a Nitro Knight Friends race, and the fact that we're still stuck with, well, this, is kind of sad. Because I think that the Nitro Knight Friends race could be really, really cool. That's what we're going to be talking about today. Re-upgrading, revamping the Nitro Type Friends race. First things first, easy, quick, little update. Bigger Friends race. I don't know, man. I'm kind of popular. I have a lot of friends, and I want to race with more than four people at a time. As you can see here, I can only have four people in my friends race at one time. That's not a lot of people. Whenever I do my live streams and I get, you know, 100 viewers, I'd say approximately 80 of those viewers want to race with me. And so I have to do whatever four divided by, <laughs> four divided by 80. I have to do 20 races to get all of those people into the friends race, and it's really, really annoying. So what if, what if, hear me out, hear me out. The amount of people that could be in your friends race was upgraded. Maybe it's not 100, but maybe it's like 10. 10 would be nice, because then you can have more than 4 people. Or maybe 15, or maybe 20. My point is, we need to upgrade the amount of slots that are in a friends race. This would allow you to race with more people, do whatever, I don't know. I'm sure everyone lo would love that, especially YouTubers. Uh, especially me. I'm kind of biased towards this idea, because that would benefit me a lot. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a great idea. We should add more people to a friends race. And here's the thing. You guys can start a friends race whenever you want. So even if you don't have 30 friends, that's just the maximum amount of slots that's available. And so maybe if you only have 8 friends and you want them all to be in your race, then you can have all of them join your race and then you can just start the race using the start race button. But yeah, that's, that's a pretty simple update to the friends race. I want to talk about actually more complex stuff that I want to add into a friends race. And the first one is a spectator system. Type Racer recently revamped their friends race, and they added a feature where you can have up to 200 different people in a friends race, which is pretty cool. However, Type Racer already had this really cool thing in a friends race where you could spectate the friends race instead of racing. So in order to actually join the friends race, you would hit the join race button. However, if you just want to spectate the race, you can just sit here in this screen, and then you can watch the other people race. This is a really cool feature because you can use it for things like tournaments where you can spectate like a tournament. Or if you don't want to type, you can just watch your friends type and, and square off and see what happens. I think a spectator system would be really, really awesome for Night Knight because we could do all sorts of tournaments. I remember back when Tendons did a speed tournament, he had to actually type the race while watching the other people type in the same friends race as him, which was a really silly just way to do it because he was sitting there like typing on his keyboard, he was trying to commentate as well, and the whole thing was like incredibly scuffed. No offense to tenants, of course, it's just that Nitro Dipe's friend race system wasn't that good for spectating. So I think it would be really cool if Nitro Dipe were to add something like uh, the type racer friend race system where you can spectate the race instead of just joining the race. So you could enter the race track like a lobby. And then if you want to actually join the race, then you can hit like a join race button. And, and then if you don't want to join the race, you can just spectate the race. You can create all sorts of challenges and stuff where people have to, I don't know. It, my point is a spectator system would be really cool. And I feel like it's something that Night Stripe should have added already, uh, but they haven't. So I think it would be really awesome if they did. Spectator system, woohoo. Yes, I completely stole this idea from Type Racer. It's a great idea though. Props to Type Racer. My point is if Night Stripe were to add something like this, that would be awesome. 
It would also it would make things like tournament. I think the one of the gate, the main reason I want a spectator system is because I want to do speed tournaments. I think that speed tournaments are awesome. However, they're so incredibly scuffed right now because you can't really do a speed tournament because you have to be in the race and it's really annoying. And so yeah, I think I think if we add a spectator system, that would be pretty cool. However, I'm saving my best little, actually this isn't even a little idea, this is a big idea. I'm saving my big idea for last, for those of you who actually watch more than like three minutes of the video. Thank you. <laughs> so, here's, here's the big idea. I mentioned this in a live stream uh, like a, a couple weeks ago. However, I want to talk about it more in depth today. So, my big idea for the Night Shadow Friends race is to have a betting system. That's right, gambling on Nitro-type friends races. So here's, here's how, here is how it all works. You guys know how betting works. You place a certain amount of money on someone, and if they win, you get money, and you also, sorry, okay. And if they win, you get the money you had, and also the other person's money, who bet on the person who didn't win. So if you bet on the person who didn't win, you lose your money, and that money goes to the whoever bet on the person who did win. The point is, I think that it would be so awesome if you could bet on friends' races. You could bet who's going to win. And so you can bet certain amounts of nitro-type cash, and if you win the bet, then you win some cash. It's a cool way to earn cash, and it's also a cool way to inspire some more, like, healthy competition inside of Nitrodype. Because right now, the only real competition that we have is grinding and the leaderboards, and no, I hate that. So, I think it would be really awesome if we could add bets. And we could use the spectator system so that two, there's two different ways you could do the betting. Number one, you challenge someone else to a race. Whoever wins the race gets a certain amount of cash from the other person. So if I challenge my friend Jisoo to a race, Jisoo beats me, I have to pay him cash. And Nitrodype could code a system to the point where, before the race starts, you both enter a specific amount of cash. It has to be the same amount, obviously. And after the race is finished, whoever wins the race automatically gets the cash from the other person. That would be really cool because it eliminates the idea of, of scamming someone, right? So if you bet on a race and then you use like a coded system into Nitrotype, like, like if you code a system into Nitrotype that specifically gives the amount of cash you bet to the other person or whoever won after the race, then you eliminate the idea of scamming. And so that's the one way it could work. If you challenge someone, you both bet the same amount of cash and then the winner gets the entire cash pot. However, here's another way it could work. If two people challenge or, or more people are in a friend's race and then you have spectators, the spectators could bet on the friends race. So let's say you have five people in your friends race, all right? And you have five different spectators. Each spectator chooses a person, they bet on them, or maybe one or two spectators but bet on the same person, whatever. And so after the race is over, the amount of money that all five spectators put into the race all goes to whoever bet on the winner. And so you could even have outside spectators and participants bet on people inside of the race, which I think would be a really awesome system. Gambling, guys, it's, it's fun, but it's, it's like calculated gambling. And again, you could code, you could actually code it into Nitrodite, because the reason people have done betting on races before, I've seen it in the Nitrodite Discord, where they're like, if I beat you, you give, if I beat you, give me 100k, and then they do the race, and then they beat the person, and then the person doesn't give them 100k. But if you actually code it into Nitrotype so that everything's done before the race and then after the race, then like Nitrotype's code transfers the cash automatically, that would remove the idea of trying to scam someone. And I think that this would be a really great way to inspire some more healthy competition into Nitrotype. Because uh, as I said earlier, there isn't really a form of healthy competition right now, except for like friends races and, and all that stuff. But friends races aren't even that good as competition. Another way that the uh, the betting system would work is if you race someone on, like, the main track on, like, nightdive.com slash race, and then after the race, there's a button where you can hit rematch. And if both players hit the button rematch, you're instantly teleported into a friend's race, and then you can do the betting system. That would be a really cool way. So, if, like, all the time, okay, all the time, I race someone main track, right? Uh, on nightdive.com slash race. I race the main track, I lose. And I'm mad because I think I should have won that race, right? Maybe someone nitrols me, maybe I had a bad race, whatever. And so what if I want to rematch the person? That would be so awesome. And so we can both hit the rematch button, 
and then bam, we have a rematch. We can bet on the rematch. It would be so sick. I think that this would be a good way to inspire healthy competition. Also, Nitro type, I know you guys like schools. Schools could use this. If there's some sort of betting system, then you could have people in schools actually, you know, race against each other, bet some money, and make that healthy competition. I feel like if, if you're trying to get kids in schools to learn how to type faster, one of the greatest motivators for typing faster is probably just going to be racing against their friends and seeing who can win. One of the reasons that I uh, actually wanted to get faster is because one of my friends who also played Nitro type was like a little bit faster than me for a while, and so one of my biggest motivators was to try and get faster than him. Oh, and eventually I did. Yay. And so I, it, basically, I guess my point is it worked, right? I tried to get faster than my friend because I wanted to beat him, and I did get faster than my friend. So if you could add some sort of system where you can like bet against each other in friends races, that would be really cool because people would be more encouraged to try and get faster and beat their friends. I've been going on way too long with this, but I hope you guys enjoyed the ideas that I would add to the Nitro Type Friends Race. Again, I don't think the Friends Race is bad. I just think that it could be so, so much better. And there's probably even more ideas for a Friends Race that I didn't even talk about. You could have, like, customizable, like, tracks and stuff. I don't know. There's a billion ideas you could add to the Friends Race because this whole concept is so, like, bland almost. Like, the Friends Race is so bland. And I feel like there's a million different ways we can improve it. Obviously, I'm not saying all of the things I talked about should be in Nitro Type. I think they should, but I, I don't know. Some of them might be difficult to code. Some of them might just be a waste of time. Whatever. Fine by me. As long as the admins are listening and, and hearing me out, I think that these are some pretty cool ideas that could be pursued. Obviously, some of these ideas are more like, are, are definitely larger than uh, other ideas I've suggested in the past. And so it would definitely take more effort to code something like this and more time, more manpower, whatever. However, I do think it would be pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think about this update, admins and players alike. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have listened to the entire thing. If you did, go in the comment section, write hashtag, I don't know, hashtag type racer. Uh, so, so I can know that you watched the entire video. I'll give you comments a heart. Anyways, I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, everyone, and have, as always, a wonderful day. Peace.